Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will be learning about load testing with JMeter. Let us first have a quick look on the agenda for today's session. We shall begin with learning the basics of load testing and what is its relevance. Then, we shall learn the different tools that are used for load testing. After that, we shall focus on one such tool that is JMeter. Then, we shall see some reasons why we should use JMeter to perform load testing. Finally, we shall see the process to perform load testing in both graphical user interface and non-graphical user interface mode in JMeter. But before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and click that bell icon so that you can never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with the first topic that is, what is load testing? Load testing is a type of performance testing that determines an application's behavior when a large number of users access the application together. Here, performance testing is a software testing process used to test the speed, response time, stability, and reliability of the software application under a particular workload. The testing determines a system's performance according to real-life conditions. To give you a better idea, let's say you have a printer. So you want to test a printer by transferring large number of documents for printing or test a mail server with thousands of concurrent users or to test a word processor by making a change in a large volume of data. This helps to know whether the existing infrastructure is capable of running the application or not. Load testing checks how much load can a system handle. The testing identifies the limitations due to hardware like CPU maximization, network bottleneck, memory limitation, etc. And it also identifies the issues in software configuration such as web server, application server, database server, etc. It helps to identify the maximum operating capability of an application and checks the performance of the application under different load conditions of system components and database components. Load testing is conducted to determine the number of concurrent users that an application can support without performance deterioration. The response time of each transaction of an application and the network delay between the client request and server response are also checked. Load testing proves itself very significant when it comes to determining user demands and satisfaction. Several tools make load testing possible, such as Apache JMeter, WebLoad, LoadUI, LoadRunner, Neo load, load ninja, etc. Here in this session, we shall be using JMeter for load testing. So JMeter or Apache JMeter is open source software that is 100% pure Java application. The application is designed to load or test functional behavior and measure performance. Performance testing means testing a web application against heavy load, multiple and concurrent user traffic. It was originally designed for testing web applications but has since expanded to other test functions. To simplify, let us assume that someday your team leads tell you to perform performance testing for some websites like yahoo.com or google.com for 100 users. What would be the first thing that comes to your mind? Do you think it's practically possible to arrange 100 people with 100 computers and access the internet and accessing the same website? Now just imagine the infrastructure requirement when this testing has to be done for 1000 or 10,000 users. This is when we need a software like JMeter. So what JMeter does is it simulates. It will simulate real user behaviors and perform load testing on a server, group of servers, network or object. Next, let's have a look at some reasons why JMeter is used for load testing. We have divided these reasons into six parts. It is free of cost, performance testing of applications, platform independent, customizable, recording and playback, and community support. Now let's see all of these one after the other. The first one, free of cost. One of the main deciding factors in any software is its cost. Normally, a software can range from high as 6 to 7 figures per license. Here, JMeter is free of cost, very intuitive and has all the possibilities you need to automate your work. The next one is performance testing of applications. The application is used to perform performance testing on different applications like web applications, web servers, LDAP, database and shell scripts. JMeter can conduct load and performance tests for many different server types like web, HTTP and HTTPS, database via JDBC, 
LDAP and JMS. The third important reason is its platform independent nature. JMeter is written and developed using Java programming language to run on any environment or workstation that accepts a Java virtual machine, for example, Windows, Linux, Mac, etc. The next reason we have is JMeter is highly customizable. Since JMeter is an open source application, it enables developers to customize it whenever needed. JMeter has a comprehensive and user-friendly graphical user interface. Parameters are easy to define and understand. Scripting is simpler and cleaner and adding and defining elements is more intuitive. Also, one screen shows you everything you need, the script, the scenario, and the analysis. The samplers are highly customizable when determining which request is to be sent to a host. However, samplers don't enable full control of test actions. Moving forth, the following reason is recording and playback. The application provides record and playback options enabled with the drag and drop features, making the application faster and easier. The next and the last reason in our list is incredible community support. JMeter is an open source tool with a brilliant community that keeps adding features and supports users who run into issues and problems. This ensures new users always have someone to answer their questions and long-time users can improve their abilities on JMeter. Also, having an open source tool ensures it keeps getting better and always in line with users' needs and requirements. Now, after we know about JMeter and the reasons to use JMeter, let's understand the process to perform load testing with a hands-on demo. The only thing that is kept in mind before this demo is we must have a fully functional JMeter on our system and by now we know that JMeter can be used in any operating system like Linux, Windows, Mac OS and Ubuntu. In this demo, we shall look into both graphical user and non-graphical user interface mode of load testing. So the first step is we shall go to the Apache JMeter folder. In that folder, go inside the bin folder and select the jmeter.bat file. Double click on this file, this might take a while, and then the jmeter window will open on the screen. The home window is divided into two sections. On the left side, the elements of the test plan are added and on the right side, all the configurations of the element that are added. As we are on the test plan element, we can see the configurations of the scene. Here, the test plan is like a place or a container where all the elements we will use to perform this test will be stored. All the requests, the listeners and everything will be stored here. So the first step is to add listeners. For that, go to test plan, right click on the test plan, go to add, then go to threads, users and select a thread group. The test group refers to the users that are used or created or needed to run this test. It has several different options like the action to be taken after there is an error, you can choose it the way you want. Then there is this number of threads where you can choose the number of users you want. Then there is a ramp up period in seconds option that states the time gap between the user's hits. Then the third one, there is a loop count where you can choose how many times the test will run for the number of users. You can also choose the test to run infinite times. There is also a scheduler here to help you schedule the start time and the test end time. For now, let's leave everything to be only one. The next step is to add the HTTP request. For that, right click on the thread group and go to the option and go to the sampler option and go to the HTTP request option. Here on the screen, there is a server name or IP box. We have to give the server name or the IP in that. Let's pick a website and place the link in that box. We shall use the Simply Learns website here. Go to Simply Learns website and copy the URL from there. Now we have copied the Simply Learns URL now let's come back to the jmeter window and paste it in the server name box. Keep in mind that we don't need to give up the HTTP or HTTPS since these are protocols which will come in the other box and they will be automatically taken in the HTTP request case. So this is what I was talking about. Now let's rename this name as simply. Moving forth, let's create one more HTTP request. For that, Again, right click on the thread group, select samplers and select HTTP requests and go to Simply Learn's website again. And there we have the resource link. Go to that link and copy the URL. Then place that URL in the server or IP address box. We shall remove the HTTP from that link and add from the end, cut the resource part and paste it in the path box there. Here we will rename the HTTP request as resources. 
moving forward to increase a load a little bit more we shall use one more http so this time we shall add one more http request again right click on the threads group go to the samples option and select the http request option again to add one more link to the server and ip address go to simply learns website go to the corporate training link now copy the url and go back to the jmeter window and paste that url in the ip box now cut the corporate training part from the link and paste it to the other path box We shall again rename this HTTP request box as corporate. Now let's save this file. In the save dialog box, let's name it as load testing.jmx. Now to get the results we shall add listeners. Listeners are something that is used to provide the outputs of the load test. There are different types of listeners present in JMeter and many may be added using plugins. The listener we will use here is the tree as it is comparatively easy to interpret. For that right click on the thread group then go to add select listener option and we go for the view results in tree option. Now it's time to run the test and check the load. For running the test, there are three simple ways. First, you can simply click on the green button here to run. Second is you can go to the run option and choose the run test. And the third is the way you can right click on first JMeter and then choose run. Let's simply choose the green button and run the test. After we run the test, we shall go to the check the results of the test in the view results entry section. We can see the green symbol that states the test has successfully completed. Since we had left all the values to be one in the beginning, that's why there is just one test for each HTTP request. Now let's increase the load and let's change some numbers. Let's make the number of threads to be 10, ramp up the periods to be 2 and the loop count to be 10. Now let's run the test again with the green button. After running the test, we shall see the results in the tree and see the testing being performed. Since we have increased the number of users and ramp up the periods and the loop count, we can see the test being performed accordingly. Since the loop count now was 10 for each user, the test will run 10 times. So here on the screen, we can see the time taken and the number of tests being performed on the status of each hit onto the website. This is how you perform load testing in graphical user mode. Now perform the same test in non-graphical user mode. We shall remove the listener. So let's remove the view results in tree. After this, we will go to the command prompt. Then in the command prompt, we shall put the bin folder path in the Apache JMeter folder. Let's go to the bin folder and copy the location from here. Now paste the path in the command prompt and execute it. Once that is done, the next step is to put the command prompt for JMeter load testing. This command has got three parts. The first part is the hyphen N, hyphen T and hyphen L. Here the hyphen N represents the known graphical user interface mode. Hyphen T is used to specify the location of the test script. Hyphen L is used to specify the location of our output result. Now go to the location where our JMX file is stored. Let's search for the load testing.jmx file. Copy the path and paste it in the command prompt hyphen T. In the link that we paste towards the end, make sure that you add the name of the file with .gmx. Now go back to the folder and make a .csv file, make an excel spreadsheet and rename it with .csv extension. 
Now copy this path and go back to the command prompt and paste it after the hyphen L. In the path, don't forget to add the name of the CSV file towards the end. Then execute the command and wait for the command to end. After the command is successfully run, you can see that the tree is successfully created and towards the end of that execution, you can see that the message is the end of the run. Now you can go back to the folder and open the loadtesting.csv file. In that file, you can see the entire test result has been generated. This shows that the command has been successfully executed and the load testing is successful in the non-graphical mode without any errors. This is what we had in this demo. We saw the load testing in graphical user interface and non-graphical user interface mode. To have a better picture, we use dashboards. Dashboards include several graphs that explain the working of the website link. We use in the HTTP request, the dashboard generator is a modular extension of JMeter. Its default behavior is to read and process samples from a CSV file to generate HTML files. It generates the report and at the end of the load test or on demand. The dashboard reports provide metrics like the APDEX or application performance index. The dashboard also provides a statistics table, response time over time, response times percentiles over time, active threads over time and response times in percentiles. We shall learn about dashboards and more in the forthcoming videos. In this video, we learned how critical is load testing in the software testing process and how it ensures high user satisfaction. A successful load testing will help to release high quality software. And so with this, we have come to the end of this session. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you have any queries and questions, do let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.